So let's visualize the 5G network through different snippets I have taken for radio access network, for transport network, as well as for the core network. So the traditional radio access network is looking like where we have a baseband unit right at the bottom of the mast, and then we have antennas on the top of the mast. So if you see these rectangle antennas, these are, we also call it as a GSM antennas. These are the antennas which are radiating and transmitting the signal from the base station and it is covering certain area. Whereas these circular antennas, these are the microwave antennas, which is used for the transport network. So any cell site in the network has to go back to the core network, which will then take data either to the data network or it is to the PSGN. So in this case, if we have to take any information from the user and user device to the base station, then back to the transport network, there is having two possibilities, two options we have. One is either we take it through the fiber cable or either we take it through the microwave antennas, which are here. So in the microwave antennas, we'll have a layer two switches at the cell sites, and then it'll be connected somewhere in the hub location also, which will take the data or the information back to the core network. So somewhere we have a core network, which is also known as a data center in case of uh, any telecom infrastructure. So any data which has to go in between the user device and between the data network or the voice network that has to go through these three subnetworks first. Now, in this case, we have evolved the overall ecosystem. This is the traditional network. Now, what is going to change basically is the devices which are on the radio access network. And we'll talk about that in detail in the subsequent slide. So far, it's important to understand how it looks like at cell level or at the site level. And visually, it will give us a clear picture that whatever the information or the data we are getting from the user through this antenna, we'll take it back to the base station or the baseband unit in this case, then take it back to the core network through the transport network, which is either the fiber or it can be the microwave antennas. Now we'll talk about a little bit in more details about the radio access network in the next slide. 